Hey Aries, this is Hal for HES Ultimage, and this is your divination forecast for the month of April. Hey guys, so I'm very happy because I'm almost done with April's, and they are twice as long as usual because I have so many updates to give you, um, but so totally worth it because I didn't get to really talk to you at all in March, and that's part about how I'll get to update you on my status and what I've been up to. So, um, here we go. <laughs> Give me a second as I adjust myself. Alright, um, so as far as one of the most common questions, which was, why were the March videos so short? And what the hell happened to all the videos on my channel? <laughs> um, during that period, as I mentioned in March, I was going through a rough time. Um, I had a spiritual ascension. Um, that's basically when your spiritual or intuitive gifts go through an evolution, and mine th went through a really big one. Um, so basically, during that period, my energy really expanded to a point where I actually discovered that I could intuit messages from spirit through my physical body, like in from the inside of my physical body, where before I would feel it externally. And I call that being an energy medium. Now I actually do have, or rather discovered that I have the ability to actually channel spirit like any other medium or channeler, like through my actual body, um, internally. Um, the other discovery I made during that period is I learned how to do automatic writing through that level of connection. Because I, you know, before it was external, once it became internal, it could write letters in my head, um, and therefore do automatic writing. Um, so during that period, I went through major, major overuses of energy. Um, it was like an energy overload, really. Um, and I jokingly say I was like Phoenix from X-Men, um, when she's like, I am Phoenix, and then burns everything to the ground, and then collapses on herself. That was basically what I was going through in a nutshell. Um, but as a result, the, the two biggest low points for me were, the first time I tanked my energy, it felt like my body was on fire. <laughs> um, and I had to kind of rebuild myself from the ashes. Second time it happened that I tanked my energy, it felt like my heart was being stabbed repeatedly with a knife. Um, it's fun stuff, that ascension. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, um, now I am much better. Um, I still feel my usual connection now as that returned, but I do know now that I have the capacity to intuit spirit through my physical body. So, I mean, maybe when I finish, you know, a little more time of feeling super grounded, I'm already pretty much there, but you know, gotta get a little more oil on before you throw yourself into the frying pan again. Um, but um, but to be able to use those abilities in more constructive and controlled ways could be beneficial. So, but anyhow, that's what I had been going through. Um, anyhow, so during that period, I actually got rid of two major only decks that were no longer serving me. They were no longer who I was. You know, everything happens in perfect timing, so I got rid of those. Um, and I actually got some, quite a few, actually, new decks. Um, all of which I'm using this month in order to, you know, push us into the energy of this new two-decade era that I've been talking about since February. So I'm using all of those new decks just, just for this month. Next month, I'm going to go back to using all of my decks, which everybody always knows is always fun. But um, but I'm just mixing all the new decks, so you'll get to enjoy those today. Um, and during that period, I did have to refund about a week's worth of readings. And I just wanted to say, you know, to those people who were hoping to get a reading from me, I apologize for that. Um, you know, I would have loved to have read for you, but... At the end of the day, I believe very strongly in the ethics of what I do, and I couldn't rightfully do a reading for you knowing that my energy was going crazy, or when I was in an overuse and I just felt like I was dead all over, um, or when I had so many 
hooks and entities and stuff clinging on to me that I couldn't even generate the energy through my chakras like I normally can because um, I just felt weighed down with all this heavy sad energy just literally feeling like my body was locked up um, but luckily I had a friend who helped me through and she gave me the advice I needed to cleanse everything out and uh, for that I'm very grateful but um, anyhow so to those people who I did refund your reading I know that I do readings unlike everybody else because um, I do custom spreads and I do my own spreads and I mix decks and all that other cool stuff so if there's a time again where you would like to have me do a reading for you I am more than up for doing it now and again I'm sorry that I had to return that to you but I would rather refund your money than do anything less than what you rightly deserve. All right. Um, moving into a new area. Don't worry, guys. We've got a few other things, and then, then we're there. And again, if you don't feel like waiting through it, just fast forward to the reading. You'll see me holding up cards, and, you know, from there, you'll just find the beginning. Um, you know, I won't know if you skip this, even though, you know, for some people, this might be beneficial. Um, next thing for those of you, and I haven't talked to you in a while, okay? So, you know, I'm making up for lost time. Um, for those of you who have watched my channel for a while, you may or may not be aware that before I started doing this work, I was planning a comic company, and that is all I ate, slept, and breathed for a full year before embarking on this. And um, I still never gave up on that dream. You know, I was doing all of my tarot reading for myself and for close friends during that period, but I just wasn't doing it for work at the time. Um, in which case, during that new period, I decided to finally try that on top of my office job. And now, I am full-time. That's the other formal announcement I didn't get to make. I am now a full-time reader. Thank you guys for that. Because um, I love doing this. Um, but anyhow, during that period, when I was planning the comic company, um, I had actually, uh, it was upon the year anniversary of me and my artist, and she left me, um, cause she wanted to be a young girl and a student, and, you know, she doubted her own abilities, and that's A-OK, -okay. that was what she had to do, and it helped me do what I need to do, and how I'm here with you today. But anyhow, during that period, I actually ordered merchandise, and one of those things were these beautiful silicone and steel bracelets from China that imported, made to my exact specifications and my exact design. And I worked with a small company. They were phenomenal. They had such an eye for detail and quality, the best quality materials and execution. And, um, and they were just sitting around, and I was hoping to save them for the company. But then after talking to a friend, I realized they had these bio elements that at the time I was like, oh, that's a fun bonus, but it's just really a cool bracelet. Um, but now I see that those are actually relevant to what I'm talking about and doing now. Because um, it's like crystal energy, but some of it's in the bracelet um, to balance your ions and stuff. Um, but anyhow, going to offer this through my website now. Um, and they are just really cool bracelets. Um, actually, when I met with my artist way back then, someone in the Panera Bread just wanted to come up and buy one. <laughs> and it wasn't even because they wanted it as merchandise, they just thought it was really cool. So, alright, so I'm going to show you what the colors are. And there will be pictures on the website too, so you get to see the exact thing, because the auto lighting sometimes plays with it, but here we go. And they all have different metal colors as well, because that was what I wanted. Um, black metal, light blue, and red. Okay. Next, silver metal, dark blue, black, and green. Okay, that's silver. Gold tone metal. And again, these are stainless steel and pure silicone This in these ones. Um, gold metal, violet, my personal favorite. Orange. And yellow. 
And there are the bioelements. There's far infrared ray, tourmaline, germanium, and I forget what the other is. But I might just list them on the website so you know what all four elements are. But anyhow, they are super cool, and I'm happy to be able to share them. And I was really stubborn, but, you know, it, it really doesn't make sense for me to just be, like, hoarding them like this. And I know a lot of people love them, and when they see them, they're like, oh my god, like, I just want this. Like, who cares if it's not related to your company? <laughs> you know, it's it's just a cool bracelet. Um, yeah, so, so those will be available through my website. Link will be below, as per usual. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. They will not be in the personal reading section. I'll have a separate section for them, probably apparel or something, so you can check it out there. And just do some searching, you know, you'll find it. <laughs> um, or ask me, that always works too. Um, springboarding off of that, don't worry, we're almost there. Um, if you're an artist of considerable skill or ability, or know somebody that is, who might be interested in collaborating with me into turning... Um, these great fantasy stories that I write into a comic, then please do contact me either through Facebook or through my website. I don't have a team that goes through that stuff. It's all me, baby. So if you send me a correspondence, I will receive it, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, I have not given up on that dream. It is not in any way me trying to be somebody different. Like, this is always going to be a part of who I am and who I am, period. Um, but I know that the stories that I write are special. And in a, in a society that I believe we're losing a lot of our artistic, cre our artistic flair and our faith in creativity, that I really want to be able to share those things with people. Because as important as this is, and I love doing this most definitely, and I'm so happy it's my full-time gig now, um, I know now that I also have the luxury of extra time to, to also uh, hopefully achieve that other dream of sharing my writing with people through that comic. So, um, and I'm a very progressive fantasy writer. I don't write traditionally at all. Um, and some of the series that I'm writing have some really deep significance. So, so yeah, if you want... Hit me up. We can work something out. We could Skype. We could chat. Whatever, whatever, and um, and we can figure it out. And obviously, while making the comic, there wouldn't be any way for either of us to get compensated until we create an actual physical comic. At which point, everyone would receive compensation. But with things like Kickstarter and stuff like that, that's always a possibility too. All right, now, home stretch, guys. One minute, and we're in. Videos will be back to their normal length. Guess you already figured that one out. I might, 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 don't get overexcited yet, do weeklies every once in a while again. They will not be every week. I know, you're like, why would you do weeklies not every week? Because it is a lot of work. But I'm thinking if I feel a lighter workload and I'm like, oh, I could handle this this week, or if I feel we just really need a message, then I'll do it. So it'll kind of be like a surprise. It'll be like, oh, there's a weekly this week. Yay. Um, so you can, you know, maybe get a message at the right time. Um, but again, I'm not planning on doing them regularly. It'll just be if the mood strikes, <laughs> then they will happen. And last but not least, I do hope to reinstate those educational videos with crystal meditation and or philosophical videos, because uh, I always think those are a valuable resource. All right, we have reached the reading. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, let me get my bearings together here. I'm checking it all out here, remembering what we're starting with. All right, Aries, for the month of April, general energy first, baby. Yeah, here we go. I am Angel of Manifestation Wealth. Here we go. Paired with Maitreya, Wisdom of the Ages. But we've got more. Wings of Light, Positive News. First time I'm seeing this card in a reading. Ah, loving this. Dragon Magic. 
Good Fortune, paired with the letter. Okay, yeah, and I'm already getting a hint here. If you're an artist and you did not see the intro, see the friggin' intro, because you might supposed to be able to contact me if you have Aries in your chart, um, or Aries Sun, etc., etc., or Moon, whatever, whatever. Because um, seeing the letter with Dragon Magic Good Fortune would suggest it could be a good project. Just saying. Alrighty. Now, getting into it for everybody. I am Angel of Manifestation Wealth, and my tree of Wisdom of Ages is showing me it's a culmination of the wealth of the prior cycle. A lot of us had either a big, big hurdle or crisis period from February into March. Just about everybody I know, guys. So I'm sure there are a lot of people who have also had this happen. Um, seeing these two together, it shows me the wisdom of what has transpired will now result in wealth or good fortune. You're getting even more of that because you have friggin' positive news, wings of light. So, good news is coming into you in April, most definitely. And now that we all have our bearings again, it's like we can finally start making stuff happen in our lives again. Because it was a crazy period. Dragon magic good fortune with the letter represents to me good things that can come or result from you taking action by creating things or creating connections, okay? So... For the letter, it's something that you can create by your own hand. So in the case of a creative person, it could be art or a comic. Hint, hint. Uh, nudge, nudge. Intro, intro. Um, with me. Um, anyhow, sorry guys, joking, but th that is kind of... Uh, when I get a symbol like that, just gotta put it out there. Um, or if you're the type of person who is looking for, you know, kind of the next chapter in your life. You know, good fortune with the letter shows a lot of self-empowerment. It's showing that you have the ability to create positive things in your life. And again, you're getting good news, too, from other sources. This is just the beginning of the energy, guys. We've still got our classic spread here. But you've got... To Honest to God, just about everybody's got a great April going on. And it's because we're done with the crazy shit, okay? And and now we're pushing off into this next two decades of empowerment and, you know, self-knowledge and being true to ourselves and everything like that. But again, the letter shows personal empowerment and the need for you to take action and create physical things or physical manifestations of what you want. Um, but even more importantly, there's good energy towards that manifestation because good fortune is joined with the letter. All right, I'm going to keep going, guys. Energy surrounding you in April. Great energy here. You know how I was saying we're over the crazy stuff? You got two protection cards in here. Two of them. The stone ring. This represents protection of, you know, the physical, the material. So your grounding, your home, your finances, your possessions, your emotional or spiritual grounding when it comes to your root. You know, like root chakra. All right here. All having protection in the month of April. Even better, first time I'm getting this in a reading, Ring of Stars. That's protections towards your hopes, dreams, and wishes. And what might those have to do with? What you want to manifest. Okay? So for you, I'm thinking this might be something that you've already thought about. Because it looks like it's, again, resultant of the wisdom you've incurred during the challenge period. But let's keep looking. Energy you're bringing. I am telling this to everybody. You guys had better believe me. Energy you're bringing. Forever in my life. Sorry. Forever in my light. Safe and sound. Blending some of those letters there. <laughs> um, 
been been doing a lot of these videos, guys. I'm I'm gonna wear my voice out by the end of it, but I've got one more, so we're almost there. All right. So again, energy you're bringing, forever in my life, bleh, forever in my light, safe and sound. It's the idea that you know again. The hard time is over. It's time to feel warm and fuzzy again, okay? Um, it also shows me that you can provide hope, faith, and safety to the people who still need it. Um, very few, but a few of the signs are still needing support. Um, I remember Virgo would be maybe one of them, and I think it was Leo might have been the other. Uh, they're the only ones I've seen so far who might still be needing a little extra assistance. But remember, people are composed of a full chart. So it doesn't matter if they're under that sign or not. If you see that somebody still needs help, you might just be the person they need to give them that extra support. But that being the energy you're bringing to, clearly you have the grounding now to not only support yourself, but others as well. This is another important thing with April, that energy of brotherhood or sisterhood helping people who still need the help because we're strong enough now to do it. It's the oxygen mask in the airplane analogy. Once your oxygen mask is well fastened to your, you know, to your face and you can breathe well, help other people with their oxygen mask. All right. Reflection. Hmm. I know this. I've got to tell it to you like this because I felt it from the beginning. The hope, dream, or wish that's being protected this month is something you already thought about, okay? It's a dream you've already had. Because this is something that's treasured and cherished as something of beauty and significance to you and represents your hopes and your dreams. Because it's in reflection, it shows me, again, it's something you've already thought of. So don't give up on it now. And I'm thinking your crisis might have, you know, shed light on the fact that you're not over it. Because I know, you know, even for me, it showed me certain things that I want to start, you know, working on again between the comic and also dating. Because <laughs> that's not being too personal. You guys know that I tell you everything. I have nothing to hide. I'm not afraid, you know? But, um, but there you have it. So for you, maybe it's something else. You know, maybe it's a dream that you have that you want to return to. Um, maybe you realize that you, you know, maybe don't want to be alone. Or, um, or maybe you want to be alone, you know? Whatever those epiphanies were that came from February into March, don't ignore them. We went through that for a reason, okay? But anyhow... Since I'm seeing this particularly as something you want to manifest, it's about something you hold near and dear to your heart, and a dream or a wish that you've already possessed and still possess today. All right, action. Action is fresh water. This represents to me completely new opportunities that are resultant of new, fresh feelings. This is very important with these. You can chase the same dream under a completely new essence of emotion and a completely fresh perspective. If it didn't happen before, it doesn't mean it can't happen again. I feel like a good few months ago we had this kind of message for Aries again. Something about things from the past that you'd wished for that, you know, you can still manifest if you just try. And again, you're going to have to approach it with an energy of trust that things can be new. On an emotional level, that they can feel new, all right? Um... Reaping, and then we've got even more, because then we've got the overall, uh, for the lesson of things, like in this. Reaping is volatility. This shows me the idea of fire, initiative, power. It's like the, um, the, 
I think it's... Okay, Greco-Roman mythology with the idea of Mars or... um. God, why am I forgetting his Greek name now? Mars would be his Roman uh, incarnation. Um, the God of War. Duh. Ares. Um, that's the energy I'm getting. And isn't that redundant? An Ares video invoking the energy of Ares, right? But that's the energy of reaping. God of War, you know, it's fire, it's initiative, it's get off your ass and start working. That's the energy. And with volatility, I want to give this to you as well. Volatility is not about planning, okay? Mercurius volatility is about diving the hell in and not caring what's going to happen. All right, so for Aries, that's what you need to do and what you'll gain through April. You don't want to second guess yourself. You just want to go for it and worry later. Okay. As we move forward, mm, okay, and we've got a cycle. Wow, I love this energy. <laughs> you guys are getting a great overall view. This is moving forward out of April um, and into this new stage, um, which could be within these two decades or even in the next few months or year. I would say in the next few months and the overall energy of the two-decade period, too. Okay. Circle of clouds paired with growing wild. Again, if you are an artist, it's probably a good idea to contact me or somebody because, okay, because I'm seeking an artist, as I said in the intro. Sorry, but I keep bringing this up because circle of clouds, protection of ideas and ideals, okay? So again, it's the idea that for all Aries, your ideas will be secured. So if people didn't take you seriously before, this is showing that they will. And that the things you really care about on a mental level and on an ideal level with, with your belief system will be protected and preserved. Your integrity protected and, and preserved. Paired with growing wild. So that shows me not only will they pre be protected and preserved, but they will flourish, okay? So clearly Aries are going to be having some good ideas moving in to this new stage. And like, they're good ideas that might have been pushed aside before, and here's where we're going with that. Here's a cycle. The bouquet. This is gifts given and gifts that you give others. I'm thinking this might be more, it's reciprocal, to be honest. You're giving gifts to others, they're receiving gifts from you. Remember, the root of that is your good ideas and your strong high ideals that will continue to gain momentum and support. The other cycle is the cross. This represents to me the cross that you have bared when it comes to what wasn't working in the past, okay? So now you have opportunities moving into this new stage. Again, remember, whatever those goals are that you had to protect and that you still hold dear today, that might have been challenged. This cycle is showing me there will be continued forgiveness and healing towards what was taken for granted or, you know, forsaken and will then become something that is appreciated. And because this is the cycle of where we move forward from April, this is a continuing energy that continues to move forward well into the next few months and into the next two decades. All right, guys. That said, I do personal readings. If you want one, hit the link below. Hope you do. Hope you get a DLC bracelet. Just kidding. But if you like it, totally go for it. And I will see you guys later.